In May 2019, Fort Collins, Colorado, was rocked by the tragic death of Dr. Vivian Seven, a beloved 42-year-old English professor known for her passion for British interwar literature and her engaging teaching style. Vivian, married to Robert Seven, owner of the Clean Spin chain of laundromats, appeared to lead a fulfilling life filled with academic dedication and outdoor adventures in Rocky Mountain National Park. However, rumors of infidelity strained their marriage, casting shadows over their seemingly idyllic existence. Days before her death, Vivian was immersed in grading papers, preparing for the upcoming semester and finalizing her extensive book on interwar literature's role in historical erotic fiction. Her excitement for a hiking trip and recent social media posts reflected her vibrant personality and dedication to her students. Tragically, on the morning of May 15, 2019, janitor Hank Murphy discovered Vivian slumped over her desk, the victim of two gunshot wounds. The discovery sent shockwaves through the community and sparked a thorough investigation led by Detective Sarah Bryant. The crime scene painted a grim picture. Bloodstains, scattered papers, and a sense of chaos mingled with the orderliness of Vivian's office. Detectives secured the area, collected potential evidence like bullet casings and personal items, and gathered forensic samples for analysis. Outside, interviews with students and faculty sought to piece together Vivian's final moments, while security footage was scrutinized for any suspicious activity around the building. As evening fell, the initial investigation concluded with many questions unanswered. Detective Bryant, aware of Vivian's popularity and the complexities of her personal life, focused on Robert Seven as a prime suspect. Despite his professional success, Robert's private demeanor and growing jealousy made him a person of interest. On May 16th, 2019, Robert was brought in for questioning, where he maintained outward calm amidst palpable tension. The interrogation centered on Robert's relationship with Vivian, probing into their marriage dynamics and his reactions to rumors of her infidelity. The investigation aimed to unravel the truth behind Vivian's tragic end, exploring potential motives and scrutinizing Robert's actions leading up to her death. In the days and weeks that followed, Fort Collins grappled with the loss of a respected educator and the unfolding drama of a murder investigation. As evidence was analyzed and interviews conducted, Detective Bryant and her team navigated the complexities of Vivian's personal and professional life seeking justice for her untimely demise. The case of Dr. Vivian Seven serves as a stark reminder of how appearances can deceive and how deeply personal struggles can escalate into unthinkable tragedies. It underscores the fragility of relationships and the devastating consequences of unchecked jealousy and obsession. As the investigation continues, Fort Collins remains gripped by the search for answers, hoping to bring closure to the memory of a woman whose life and legacy were cut short by violence. Robert confessed their strained marriage was linked to rumors of Vivian's affairs with students. He provided an alibi, stating he was at home working on financial reports the night of her murder, but struggled to confirm it with a witness raising suspicions. During interrogation, Robert became defensive when questioned about his whereabouts and denied involvement, but his evasive responses deepened detectives' suspicions. Phone records revealed heated arguments with Vivian before her death, suggesting jealousy. 
A handgun matching the murder weapon was found at his home, though more evidence was needed for an arrest. However, detectives realized they needed more solid evidence to make an arrest. The investigation was far from concluded, and the police were resolute in seeking justice for Dr. Vivian Seven. On the clear and sunny morning of May 18th, 2019 in Fort Collins, a crucial piece of evidence emerged around 10 a.m. campus security found a flash drive left by one of Dr. Vivian Seven's students. The police examined it and discovered dozens of videos showing Dr. Seven engaging in sexual activities with her students, both on campus and at her home. This confirmed rumors about her misconduct and added a new dimension to the case. The police discovered dozens of videos showing Dr. Vivian Seven engaging in sexual relationships with her entire class, far exceeding professional boundaries. The most recent video was recorded just hours before her death, depicting her in a threesome with two of her top students, twins Tanner and Lainey Taylor. The videos were recorded using hidden cameras in Vivian's office, bedroom, and bathroom. This complicated the investigation, revealing Vivian's tangled web of relationships and providing a potential motive for her murder, jealousy and revenge from someone who knew about her secret life. The police focused their investigation on Tanner and Lainey Taylor. The twins admitted to a sexual relationship with Vivian, claiming it was necessary for their grades. However, their alibis for the night of Vivian's death could not be confirmed, making them suspicious. The investigation was becoming more complex as it delved into Vivian's secretive personal life and the network of relationships and secrets surrounding her tragic death. The police discovered dozens of videos showing Dr. Vivian Seven in sexual relationships with her entire class, including a recent video with her top students, twins Tanner and Lainey Taylor. This provided a potential motive of jealousy and revenge. The police investigated Tanner and Lainey Taylor as they were implicated in the videos. While they admitted to the relationships, their alibis for the night of Vivian's murder could not be confirmed. The police also looked into Dr. Jonathan Brooks, a rival professor who was engaged in a competition with Vivian over sleeping with students. However, they did not find direct evidence linking him to the murder. The breakthrough came when the police discovered evidence that Vivian's husband, Robert Seven, had accessed the incriminating videos shortly before her murder. Robert confessed to killing Vivian in a fit of rage after discovering her infidelities. In January 2022, Robert Seven's trial began with the prosecution presenting evidence of his motive, opportunity, and the digital evidence linking him to the crime. The community was shocked that Vivian's own husband was her killer. The investigation followed every lead to uncover the complex web of relationships and secrets surrounding Vivian's tragic death, ultimately leading to the arrest and conviction of her husband, Robert Seven, for her murder. The trial of Robert Seven, Vivian's husband, began in January 2022. The prosecution presented strong evidence linking him to the murder, including digital evidence showing he had accessed the incriminating videos shortly before the crime. The defense argued that Robert had acted under immense emotional stress due to Vivian's infidelities. However, the jury ultimately found Robert guilty of first-degree murder, and he was sentenced to life in prison. Vivian's family was torn between their love for Robert and the need for justice. The community of Fort Collins also struggled with the revelations and the dark secrets behind Vivian's seemingly perfect life. After the verdict, Vivian's friends and colleagues held a memorial service to honor her memory and contributions. The English department also dedicated a reading room in her name and published her unfinished book. Robert Seven began serving his life sentence, while Tanner and Lainey Taylor, the students involved in the scandal, faced backlash from their peers 
but tried to rebuild their lives. Detective Sarah Lynn Bryant and her team were commended for solving the case, leading the department to implement new training programs to handle sensitive cases involving personal relationships and digital evidence. The Fort Collins community grew closer, becoming more aware of the pressures and mental health issues faced by those around them, hoping to prevent such tragedies in the future. Thank you.